Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Creative Careers and today's video we will we'll, let's talk about few more important monuments and sorry for the disturbance you are having but it's high time, your exam time so I have to do this video in this conditions only. So what is this building? This is Hagia Sophia, it's in uh, Istanbul, uh, the Tur Turkish Empire conquered this. Earlier it was a church, then it was converted into a uh, mosque and after that Hagia Sophia was made into a museum then again from 2018 there was some reconciliation there was some act passed and they made it they are making it church again sorry mosque again so hope you get this building it's very important building in architectural history Hagia Sophia Istanbul or Turkey next in the line is this is one of the most important most iconic building all of you must be knowing this this is nothing but uh, the Parthenon, Parthenon in uh, Greek, and it's one of it. It sits in the it sits in the complex called as Acropolis. So Acropolis itself is a great complex which have various various architectural monuments in itself. So go and check, study about Acropolis bit. You will get one question or another from this for for sure. Next is last uh, Nata exam. You had this. This is Pantheon. And this is how the section of Pantheon looks or the Pantheon looks from the inside when I cut it in the midway. You get what I say when I mean the section, right? So this is the Pantheon, Rome. It's in the Rome and the top, that central open area in the dome is called as uh, Oculus. And uh, here in uh, Parthenon, the Doric columns are used and here in pa Pantheon, the... Doric, Ionic and uh, Corinthian, uh, Corinthian co columns are used and this is its sections. It has columns, colonnade in the front. The front structure looks very similar but uh, it has a huge dome. The Pantheon has a huge dome. This is uh, the colo uh, this is nothing but the Colosseum and this is, uh, this is the Colosseum Theatre uh, in the Rome, Italy and this is its uh, this is its plan and section. You just go through the images which you find on the Google. And this is the most iconic uh, building and it was designed by one of the important architect. And you can see these, this structure still in the many important buildings of uh, governance or any th that sort of building. So can you guess this? This is a Villa Capra or Villa Rotonda it is called as. This was designed by the first architect, uh, like the first kind of architect we get to know. It was designed by uh, uh, Palladio. So he used this symmetric pattern and that, uh, that main structure which you find here, the triangle head and columns holding that triangle. Uh, which states like which is symbolic of uh, governance which is symbolic of strength power so this came from Parthenon and Pantheon buildings and it still continues in the many of the buildings today and Villa Rotunda or Villa Capra is one of the important example for symmetry what you find in this plan it's symmetrical wherever you cut in the from the center it's symmetrical okay what, which is this church? This is the church called as uh, Notre Dame. It's in, uh, Notre Dame is in, uh, where is it guys? Come on. It's in Paris, Fra it's in uh, France and uh, it got burnt in 2019. You should be knowing this. What, which is, what is this structure? This is uh, Sangarada Familia Church and uh, it was designed by Anthony Gaudi. Anthony Gaudi is known to be one of the famous architects in the history time and he is also called as father of modern history. So keep it in mind. What is this building or what is this? You must have seen somewhere or other images of this. This is Buckingham Palace, London where the queen stays or uh, what is this? This is uh, this is St. Basil's Cathedral in uh, Russia. And it's no more a church, it's no more a cathedral, it's also called as church or, or cathedral of intercession. It's a museum now in the Russia. And uh, this is uh, the Romans always, what is this firstly, let me know. 
this is the aqueduct uh, aqueduct savejovia and romans you were very famous they used to bring water through these canals aqueducts they used to build these high length uh, bridge sort of aqueducts they always used these arches in their structures you see pantheon it ha it has arched uh, structures to go up one on another and you see uh, col the colosseum it has the same structure and aqueducts again they are made of arches so arches were first most important uh, part of architectural uh, part of uh, roman architecture okay so hope you guys gain information hope you got to know about these buildings and uh, the structures please go and study little bit about them because these are very important ones whichever i told so thank you for watching